Right now you're into Urban Mix. Make sure you stay in tune with the best. Welcome to Urban Mix, this is your boy Prince. Right now today, I mean, as you can see, it's a whole lot of fun out here. I'm not in the studio today. I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's a coded area. And you know why I'm here? You know, on Urban Mix, we get you whatever is going on right here in DMV. This is the hottest girls, the hottest boys, the pop bottles boys. I'm going to show you what is happening today. This is Urban Mix. We are out today. And I'm going to talk to some of the beautiful ladies right here for you to see what is going on. So this is Urban Mix. And this show is coming to you live wherever you're watching me today. We are in DMV. And as you can see behind me, it's a whole lot of stuff going on. So stay tuned. We'll be talking to a lot of people. They're going to come here, tell us what is going on. So if you can see me right here and you're watching me wherever you're watching me, this is your boy Prince. Do you know who I have right here? She also go by the name Princess. I was like crushed. This is your boy Prince once again. I have this beautiful lady having a good time, having a good vibe. And she's on my desk right now, 360 going around. What's your name? I want you to tell them. Maybe they might think, oh, I'm just faking your name. P. She go by the name P. So just put the rest of it. It's Princess. Let me know what do you, where are you coming from in the first place. I know everybody here is in Africa. Even if you're born here, where are you coming from? I was born in Ghana, uh, but I was raised here. All right. So she's also Ghanaian. Why are we having a lot of Ghanaian vibes right here? Do you Ghanaians like partying more than any other person in this state or what? Yes, facts. We do. We are the party. You know, we bring the best parties, the best girls, the best men, like our food, everything. So we love partying too much. <laughs> All right. We love partying too much. Not too much, though, but like it's more like we love partying. Let me know. How is the vibe like? You've been here for an hour more. How is the vibe like? Because we've been staying in the house for like three months. Yeah. What pushed you to be out here to have a good vibe today? Um, well, my brother TJ asked me to come and help him out, bartend, but you know, he was like, just come and enjoy, it. forget, come to work, come and enjoy. It. And I was scared, but I was like, oh, wow. I've been, this is my first time really actually back out in the field like this. I mean, I work at Spectrum Lounge and I work, you know, during the weekend, but at the end of the day, this is like too much. But it's lovely, I love it, the vibe is good, you know. So, so far I'm enjoying myself. You're having a good time. Yes. All right. So everybody out there, you're missing out. It's your brother TJ, right? Tell me about this party. What is it about all kinds of versus everybody party? Tell me. I mean, because they know how to bring people out. TJ is a good entertainment, period. You know, I bring people out, you know who to bring out. Um, it's just because this year is more special because of the simple fact that we've been going through this COVID-19 situation. So it's like, okay, everybody want to come out for this party, you know. Everybody like, we got to get out of the house. We have to go to this. But, I mean, so far, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Favorite producer <laughs> on Dixon Beats. I mean, we're having a good time right here, and it's all about all cancer pool party with everybody. All right, so tell me about All Cancer Pool Party. What is it about All Cancer Pool Party? It's a good vibe. Everybody having a good time. We having uh, just good vibes, good good energy, you know, positive stuff. You know, it's a lot of stuff going on in this world right now, so we want to make sure that during this pandemic that we still have a good time, you know, shine and do everything we need to do and still live life besides, even though it's bad times going on. So, I mean, looking at stuff like this, right, it, is it happening in a way that you – you're tired of like being in the house. You're tired of being like, oh man, you don't have to go out and stuff like that. Oh. So then you decided, man, guys, we got to put something together today. And I can see a lot of people right here. How is the vibe? How do you get people to come out like that? Good vibes going on. And I think it's, it's, it's important to do this because we were all in the house from March, April, 
you know, doing, uh, staying home, you know, following the rules. But I feel like you know, as humans, you get automatically restless and want to go see your people, want to have a good time and things like that. So it's been good, you know? Good vibes, good vibes. So as an Afrobeat artist, you're from Africa. Which part of Africa are you from? I'm from Ghana, Black Stars, baby, West Africa. All right, so you're from Ghana. Looking at this pandemic, how do you think as an artist, how has it affected you as a musician? I mean, you need to go shows, you need to have events and stuff like that. How is this pandemic affecting you? It's been, it's been affecting me because, you know, we can't do shows right now. So the fact of having to stay home and not be able to do positive things outside, like on a public standpoint. But the, the good thing about it is letting us create, it's letting us be more creative in our craft. And I think with me, it's let, it's been, I've been able to rest a lot. I wasn't resting before this. I was going all about doing shows, going here, this state, that state. So it's been able, it's been allowing me to rest. So now the new music is coming out, got something else coming with BET right now in two months. So I'm just excited, man. Back at it, going hard. What? What, what song do you have coming up? You, can you talk about it a oh, little yeah. bit? Yeah, yeah, I got a, you got <laughs> up? yeah. I got a song. I got a song right out called Move Your Body. Jay Otto, Move Your Body is doing great numbers right now. And we're shooting a video August 1st, going straight to BET and Revolt TV. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, we're doing amazing things. But check it out on our platform, song called Move Your Body. Great R&B, I mean, great Afrobeat record. So all over. Doing well. Girl, I tell you. I've been gone for a minute, now I'm back for another I know you gon' let me get it, and I ain't worried about the mother I'm a grown ass man, so grab a hold of my hand A couple shots to the head right now, and we gon' paint the city red right now Right now, right now, right now, show me what you got, break a leg right now Right now, right now, right now, right now. we do whatever we want, babe And we move however we want, babe And breeze through and weather the storm, babe Girl, I need you, I can't get enough, babe You know why, cause I'm so in love with you You know why, cause I'm so in love with you I may play for you, plans for you, plans for you. Take you out and dance with you, dance with you, dance with you. Girl, I take a chance with you, chance with you, chance with you. Treat you right, won't damage you, damage you, damage you. Girl, I take you. Doing music here in the United States, that's the saying that like you, you gotta be in Ghana, you gotta be in Africa to be able to make it big. Is that true? And why do you think, if it's not true, why do you think it's not? I don't think it's true because, you know, I think America's starting to adapt to Afrobeats. It's kind of like people understanding that Afrobeats is all fun. You know, back in the day, we used to get made fun of, you know, African booty scratcher, da da da. But now the roles has changed. You know, everybody's supporting Africans. Everybody wants to be African. And it's just, the roles has changed. So I'm just excited about that. But it, it's no, it's, it's a good thing because now Davido's getting played on radio, Wizkid, Burner Boy. Everyone is adapting. So it's. Africa's taking over the world, taking over. Talking about these artists having their music playing on radios here in the United States, what do you think of their music? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm from Ghana, right? Yeah, Ghana so, what do you think is making Ghana music not crossing borders? Like, I mean, I go to clubs, I go to events, oh, you, yeah. all you hear is Nigerian music. As you mentioned, I never heard any Ghanaian music, any Ghanaian artist. Why and what do you think? Nigerians are doing different from Ghana. I think the problem is with Ghanaian music, I think the Ghana artists, they're speaking too much of the language in the song. So people out here don't understand it. Nigerians, they're speaking a lot of American stuff that's going on. So I think that's what's really messing up the, the crossroad. Nigerians, Burner Boy speaking English, Davido speaking English, you know, Whiskey speaking English. Ghana, we speak too much of our language, so people don't really understand what they're listening to. So I think that's what the major problem is. More, I, will, I will argue with you before, <laughs> because there's this guy coming from South Africa, right? He go by the name Master KG. Master KG dropped a biggest hit. It was not English. So what, what are you talking about? Oh, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. I feel as though if we speak more English, I think it's going to be more beneficial to crossing over to the American route. Because Nigerian, like you said, Whiskey speaks English in his songs. Uh, Davido speaks English. Burner Boy speaks English. So I think that's the major, major difference is the English. You got to speak more of it so people can understand it. You know, this is America. They don't know nothing about Ghana yet. But they will soon. This is America. That is the strategy. So, you know... He is saying that we got to be putting more of the English, man. The cheat is too much. Y'all bread and cheat. It's about time we put more. It's a strategy. So, you know, that's the vibe. I'm not saying, but South Korea doing cheat. Yeah. He's doing a lot of 
that is that is that is the argument. Sark out there doing cheap, but it's making it big, boy. Yeah, I, but Sark, Sark is um the thing with Sark. Sark he speaks English in his songs though. He's doing it more. He's starting to adapt more to our sound and American sound. So I think that's what's helping him a lot. He hasn't crossed over to the American side yet because he has to do a little more American. That's the, I think that's what's holding us back. I'm be honest with you. That's holding us back. That's holding us back. My angel, you are so sweet. Angel, no one competes. No one. I'll be complete. Cause you're the only one for me. Let me tell you, girl. I perform better under pressure. Vibes are on elevated measures. Ooh. And my line are you from the one that's next up. Ooh. Know you're tired of all these dudes trying to vex you. Girl, come talk to me. What you going through? It ain't hard to see. You've been going through a lot, obviously. Let me come sweep you right off your feet, yeah, yeah. My angel, you are so sweet. Angel, no one competes. No one. I'll be complete, cause you're the only one for me. Let me tell you, my angel, you are so sweet. Angel, no one competes. No one. I'll be complete, cause you're the only one for me. Let me tell you, girl. What you going through, it ain't hard to see What you going through, it ain't hard to see You been going through a lot, obviously Let me come sweep you right off your feet Yeah, yeah My angel, you are so sweet Angel, no one competes No one, I'll be complete Cause you're the only one for me Let me tell you, my angel, you are so sweet Angel Compete. No one, I'll be complete Cause you're the only one for me Let me tell you, girl Boom. Right now you're into Urban Mix Make sure you stay in tune with the best